I'm Talbert Goldman out of Meridian, Mississippi, and we're with Mike Goldman Customs. Brought Mr. Sonny Freeman out of Lafayette, Louisiana's 65 Chevelle. Uh, the name of the car is uh, Reflection. We basically wanted to take a stock car and change the car up and modernize it like we would have wanted to do it in 1965 by, you know, just smoothing the lines up, change the roof. Uh, we put it actually, uh, it's a 66, 67 Chevelle roof on it. We took three quarters of an inch out of the uh, A pillar. The windshield and the back glass both come in from the inside. Um, lots of metal work done around the A pillar and the cowl where the, the glass meets it uh, just to clean it up and just modernize it. The, uh, the bumper is all one off by Dan Baker out of Alumacraft Grills. He's out of Pennsylvania. The grill as well. LS7 with a Whipple supercharger, about 940 horsepower to the rear wheels. The interior was done by uh, Paul Atkins out of Hansville, Alabama. Haze and charcoal interior, um, a lot of machining work, just subtle, <laughs> subtle things done just to kind of go with the car, you know, nothing over the top, just trying to keep it simple and clean. Hey, the rear of the car we basically took, we started with the rear bumper. We basically, we tried to take the ugly off. This is the original profile of the bumper, but normally the original bumper protrudes down and it rolls into the roll pan, which normally isn't a roll pan. There's no sheet metal down there. We deleted that. Totally one-off bumpers. We did the one-piece tail panel, which normally is integrated in with a trunk. Uh, we, we took the line of the original roof, I mean the original uh, trunk opening that normally comes out here, and sucked it in to come, kind of come in line with the uh, the sail panel of the 66, 67 roof. Uh, the rear glass as well comes in from the inside, like the uh, the windshield. We tried to also take the, uh, the same style into the trunk as we did the inside. Uh, and our trunk latch, we tried to clean that up a bit. Actually, that's a magnet, a super strong magnet that takes electricity to release it. Uh, just a super clean look, kind of cleans things up. Just take the ugly off. That's basically what we tried to do. Really don't have a whole lot of plans. Uh, the main thing was getting here, getting finished with the car. That was our dedication. We got here, we were lucky enough to get a great egg, which is a huge honor. Uh, I don't know what's down the road. We're going to talk to the owner. We may go to Chicago. I know we're going to do uh, Columbus Street Machine of the Year. He wants to beat the car up a bit. Uh, and just see where it goes from there.